And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is TFX Bane. TFX Bane is ranked 13th in his Platinum Division with 754 points and 145 wins. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the Northwest up against TFX Bane. He is the Red Protoss player in the Southeast. The map is Taldarim Altar LE. And this is one of my favorite maps now in terms of how it turns out in the mid to late game. This is a huge map with your first three expansions relatively close to your main base here. You will have to destroy rocks to get to that third base, but once you do, it is pretty easy to hold, relatively easy to hold at least, especially if you can keep tr control of all four of these Zelnaga towers that will keep an eye over the entire middle of the map. Uh, this is a map, uh, uh, sorry, a match up against a Protoss player, which I typically do very well in because I typically go for massive amounts of Marines and Marauders against them, and that does well. Uh, they really have two built-in counters to a marine and marauder build but that doesn't really mean that the protest players are always going to go for it or know how to use it properly we do have a gateway on the way for tfx bane my barracks is up just a hair later looks like about five or six seconds later his first assimilator went up first it looks like um, fifth, no, just a few seconds later, but it will finish first. That is how it works. Meanwhile, he is just going to be chrono boosting the hell out of his nexus, it looks like. Now, once that assimilator is up, you do need to fully stock that with the harvesters. We do have a second pylon on the way. Meanwhile, I am actually going for my second Barracks. Looks like I'm going to be going for a 2 rex fast expand on this map. This is what I would recommend because the map is so large. And especially for based on the spawning positions, of course, I don't know what those are yet. Uh, all I know is that he is not over here. He's not actually doing any scouting whatsoever. He's pretty much going to be staying in his base, it looks like. Cybernetic Core is on the way. and He's actually chrono boosting that first zealot. Uh, gonna move him out here to guard the ramp to his natural, it looks like. And here I run in, and the zealot runs right past me. Just now catching it. Now I'm gonna start moving around, so that zealot will probably chase me for quite some time. He does have a probe being sent out now, just now, to scout. It is a late scout. And it looks like I'm actually sending my SCV all the way back to my base. I don't want anything to do with that zealot, apparently. And he's too slow to catch up anyways. But it looks like I do have my SCV out for the expansion. Why isn't it started? There we go. There's, there's the expansion starting just right now. T-Rex is out, continually producing SCVs. The orbital command is up. I don't have a bunker yet, but that should be handled shortly. Maybe. Maybe not. He does have a, a few units just kind of scattered all over the place here. Uh, these guys are going to be guarding what I assume. I can hear the waterfall. Is that what that noise is? That, that That's kind of annoying, actually. Uh, no, I was about to say they're going to be guarding the the natural expansion, but it looks like instead he's going to be sending them in along with his SC or sorry his his probe here, just trying to get a layout of where everybody is. I know where he is, but he doesn't know where I am yet, and his probe dies because of it. He is sending a zealot down to the other base here. Uh, no, he did ha go end up saving that one, and now he's sending two zealots towards my base. I'm not exactly sure why right now. He is going for his first expansion as well, but he's still just on the one gateway and two assimilators. So, I mean, he's got a ton of gas coming in right now, but not nearly as many minerals as I do, especially now that my expansion is up it's not saturated at all because really um, this this is good saturation here it's actually still a little under saturated even though I've been been producing SCVs the entire time that we've been playing looks like the, the second command center is almost normal command there it goes and instantly 
the mules drop. And we should be seeing my income go up immensely. We do have a uh, warp gate just now finished, a gateway, two more, three more gateways. So he's now just going for four gate robo on two base, even though the second base isn't nearly done now. I'm trying to micro those zealots. I don't do it very well, but I do scare him off with just two stalkers left. His nexus is finally up. Um, but it doesn't look like he's been making SC... There we go. There we go. They just now started. And he looks like he's going to be chrono boosting. Yes, one of the Nexus is there. And he's he's pretty much sending all the probes to the other, uh, the other base, even though he's not fully saturated at all. As you can see here, he's only got 15 harvesters at at his main base on minerals. This, these two are fully saturated though. I'm still going for marines and marauders here. Um, an observer is on the way and of course a robotics bay is out. Very early robotics bay I feel. At the 8 minute mark uh, he's going to start getting that robotics bay that of course will get him colossi eventually. He does have 4 sentries out. They are there to block the main base here. Positioning them on that ramp, they should be able to spread four force fields across here and be able to block that off. I do believe four would cover it. More Marines and Marauders coming out now. I am now on five racks, just now getting the reactor and tech lab on those. And then this thing here looks like a pylon, but it's not. It's just hanging off the map for, for now. Um, right now I am 68 out of 86. Considering the size of the army, I, I'm going to say he's ahead right now, though, because of how gas-heavy he is with those sentries and those stalkers. But I still have the larger army in terms of minerals, thanks to my marines. And here, I do see the observer in the middle of my army. But right now, I really don't care because there's not much for him to see. And as soon as it starts moving, I should be able to take it out. Um, his first colossus is on the way. Is he... He hasn't even started the Thermal Lance upgrade, though. He will need that if he wants to do well with those Colossus, and he will need those Zealots. He needs more than just the one. Otherwise, that Colossus will go down very quickly. I do have a third refinery up, so I am going to start getting a lot more gas than well than I was before, you know, 50% more, and he's uh, actually going to be going for two more gas at his expansion. Uh, so if we look at the the harvester count now, I'm so far ahead though. I mean, I'm getting 15, uh, 1600 minerals to his 10, 1100, and I'm already getting more gas than he is as well. And I'm spending it. I am spending all of it. So there's really... I mean, I'm really outproducing him right now, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, look at the production tab. All he's got going for him right now are two probes at a time and a Colossus. Nothing uh, coming out of the gateways because, well, I was about to say because his cooldown isn't activated yet, but it is. He he should be making those constantly, but he just doesn't have the, the income for it right now. Um, the, the two base not saturated is not enough for four gate robo with colossus going he does have thermal lance finally on the way he only has the one colossus out uh oh, there's the second one on the way just now the he is going to be able to see that i am sticking with the marines and marauders they don't have any upgrades i do have both the weapons and the armor on the way but it won't be a while until those are done i mean even this one's over halfway done and we're talking about a minute in game time away from that being finished but i am starting to fall apart in the, the mineral management that needs to be lower that needs to be lower numbers i am going for a factory uh not only for siege tanks and the like but also because i need an armory for the second and third level upgrades on my engineering bay he does have a third base on the way he's actually kind of going for a, what would be considered the fourth base for most players here he is instead taking that third uh, the observer is now moving around. If I did not see it before, I definitely see it now, but I don't believe I have enough energy at either one to take it out. Oh, I don't. Armory is now on the way. 
once that is finished I should be able to start the second tier upgrades for the weapons and armor and I'm moving out with my large army here let's take a look at the size of that I'm clearly ahead right now we're talking about 5350 minerals worth of army of army and they're moving out across the map I mean yeah it, it's awesome look at that 49 marines 29 marauders and eh, minus four, whatever. Roughly. Up against three Colossus, eleven Stalkers, seven Sentries, and five Zealots. You tell me who has the bigger army. Come on. Try to tell me. Let's look at the U.S. loss count for now. Uh, and he's moving his army out of position here. No, 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 no. Keep the high ground. So he moves in. And let's be honest, these guys are out of position. They are doing a massive amount of damage, especially with the splash damage, to my army. But once the rest of the army goes down, the Colossus are just sitting ducks, and I'm able to take them out very quickly. These last stalkers are not going to be able to hold me off. And I'm moving in, chasing down that last Colossus before I decide it is time to take out all these pylons and he wants to have a conversation about what just happened fine let's hear it remember these guys are now 1-1 one, one. down goes his expansion the third one is bit is done but it there's nothing there and yeah he wants to say that I'm overpowered but the pro and I'm just you know whatever dude you saw them coming the real problem here is that he has no saturation at his main base he did at his expansion you know when before I destroyed it he had the the income there but he when you only have 15 harvesters on minerals at your main base it's not uh, it's not gonna work out well it really isn't and he wants to say that the bio ball is overpowered of course Everybody that loses to it wants to say it. I could have easily said that Colossus are overpowered. Uh, he only had three of them, and look how much damage they did. I mean, but if you look at the overall, you know, it's lost. I mean, it's not even really close. I still have 3,700 minerals worth of army, and you know, I've got a supporting army here that can easily go in and take them out. I like to keep the, the supporting army in the back just in case there is some kind of proxy pylon uh, that he would try to move in. Uh, try to be sneaky with some stalkers or something like that. But that's the game. And I do have an announcement for you guys. Um, this is actually going to be my last official StarCraft II commentary. It is number 175, I believe. I think I wanted to end it on a round number. Um, and 175 is round enough for me. Um, What's basically going to happen here is I'm not actually going to try to post these every day. Um, I'll probably post, or not even every other day, not even once a week. I'll, I'm not going to have a set schedule for these at all. Basically, whenever I feel like there was a, an especially good game, I'll go ahead and upload that, but don't expect it more than maybe once or twice a month, to be honest with you. Uh, so f effectively, I'm kind of retiring from StarCraft 2 commentary, so I know a lot of you are going to be disappointed with that, but yeah, I'm sorry that's the way that it turned out. But I hope you guys have enjoyed all the StarCraft 2 commentaries I've brought you over, geez, past nine months or so. Um, it's been a lot of fun for me. Uh, sorry to let it go, but I'm more excited about other projects that I'm working on right now. Let that thing twitch. But I hope you guys have enjoyed all these StarCraft II commentaries. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.